In today's class on agricultural science, I'm going to be treating with you simple farm tools and their uses. My name is Ajishafe Abdulak. First, the topic outlines. Today's class will be on simple farm tools and six examples of simple farm tools, which are the pickaxe, the hand fork, the hoe, the spade, watering can, and secateurs. Now the objectives of today's class. At the end of today's class, you all should be able to define farm tools, know the uses of different farm tools, state the types of farm tools, and know the importance of farm tools. Now to the definition of simple farm tools. What are simple farm tools? Simple farm tools are instruments we use in the farm to aid us in farm work. Similarly, simple farm tools are simple handy tools made up of metals and some of wooden handles where, where applicable and be used mainly by peasant farmers. They are designed to help the hand to apply force in farm operations. They make work easier, faster and safer. Now to the examples and types of farm tools that we have. The first type of farm tools I'll be talking about is the pickaxe. The pickaxe are mainly used for breaking up hard soil and digging up of roots and tree stumps. The pickaxe is made up of a long wooden handle with a double-headed thick metal blade that is attached to the handle through a loop. The head of the pickaxe is made up of, of two edges. One part of the end of the blade is pointed while the other end is flat and sharp edged. The next type of farm tools I'll be talking about is the hand fork. The hand fork is used in mixing manure into the soil for breaking the surface of the soil so that air and water can pass easily and it is also used for the removal of weeds on the seed bed. When it is viewed, the hand fork looks like the kitchen fork we eat with. Just that, just that it is a little bit bigger, it has a short wooden or metal handle with three and sometimes four prongs. The next farm tool I will be talking about is the O. The O's are used in tilling the soil, harvesting crops like cassava, sweet potato, cocoyam, weeding between the rows of crops, digging of drains, making trenches and foundation of farmhouses, and the making of bridges and moats. They all come in different sizes and types, but they all have a metal blade and a long or short wooden or metal handle. Now the spade. The spade is used for different purposes. It can be used for digging the holes and trenches around us, for leveling the ground, for making seed beds, ridges, mounds and the heaps, transplanting of seedlings like palm oil seedlings and other seedlings. The spade is made up of a long rectangular flat blade, which is attached to the to a fairly long cylindrical handle that widens the posterior end to form a triangular block with a D-shaped O or hand when used. Now I'll be talking about watering can. The watering, watering can, can is used to apply water to crops like seedlings in the nursery and vegetables. Sometimes it is used in applying liquid fertilizers to crops as well as the watering of cement blocks used for the construction of structures and buildings. The watering can is made up of galvanized iron which prevents it from rusting. Some are also made of very synthetic rubber. 
the water watering can is made up of a tank and a handle and a spout. This spout is long with a perforated metal sheet over its mouth, which, ref which is referred to as the rose. But in case of the rubber type of watering can, it, the mouth is covered by a rubber, a part which is perforated. And the last type of farm tool I will be discussing with us in class today is what is called cicators. To recognize the cicators, it looks like a pair of scissors. It is used for trimming flowers and the pruning of branches to shrub of shrubs and trees. As illustrated, the cicators is made up of two metal blades, of which one has a, one has a concave curve while the other has a convex curve that are joined together at the point. It has two short metal, handle, short metal handles with a spring in between them when handling it. You can undo the cicator with one hand while the plant or, or tree to be cut is held with the other free hand. Now, assignment. I'll be leaving with you three questions to make up the assignment for today's class. The first question is, what are simple farm tools? Second question, what are the common farm tools and equipment? The third question, what are the importance of farm tools? You have to remember and note that your assignments are to be submitted through the email training at educom.ng. Thank you.